Hi, everybody. Took some photos out in the backyard yesterday. Uh, thought we'd have a look at some of that. How's everyone doing? I hope everybody's good. All right, let's take a look. See, right away you can see this shadowed area up here. I got the sun covered and it still stayed shaded. I kind of missed the sun that time, but that's okay. Also, you can see in this picture this right here and this over here. Notice it's on the uh, exact sides there. And it's not, they're, they're not lens flares, um, as you'll see here sh shortly. As you can see, I got the sun covered up completely this time. We still have that ball there. We also have this dark area that I was pointing out earlier. You can see that the sun should be illuminating it, but it is not. Also, they got chemtrails going across here. See? And this is a chemtrail. I don't think this is, but this one is. And what's even more interesting about this chemtrail is the shadow above it. I'll go on to the next picture. Again, as you can see, those two areas are really putting off some uh, interesting something going on there also I want to point out this area this light ring to me says that is a an eclipse this right here is dragging this off notice how it goes up and around and over like like it was going up the side of a ball you see what I'm saying? Now it goes up to the point right where the halo is and then takes off in a different direction. This right here is a planet. And I'm assuming these are the moons of that planet. We also have what's going on up here as well. Okay. Also, you can see right here, see how the light is illuminating all this, and then it just stops and becomes shaded. Just something to notice. And in the next picture, this is a little later. I took a picture, and then I got bored and went back inside. But then a little bit later, I wanted to come back out and get some more photos of what was going on. And what I want to point out right away is where the sun is right here. It's going to be like this the whole time, except it's going to be like it's coming out from around the side of something, which you can pretty much see right there. See that dark circle right in there? That is what the sun is behind. And here in a second, as the footage moves along, you will see that right behind that dark circle is a shaded area. Now, I know it doesn't look shaded right at the moment, but as you'll see, it, it remains there. It is a shadow. And you'll see the uh, sunlight coming around here. See how it's going around something right there? See that? Here's the shadow of it up here. Here's the, the, the ball. Here's the shadow up in here. I was out there for quite a while taking pictures just so we would get a better view of it. I was pretty much just in awe watching the, uh, the eclipse happen. Or the end of the eclipse, should I say, as the sun was up in the sky behind the planet for a good while. See the shadow up here? And so that's a shadow of what's going on with the sun right there. 
and as the sun goes down you'll see that it never really comes out from behind there you can see the light ring going around see it goes all the way around and you got some shaded area up here because this is starting to illuminate whereas this is falling into more shadow and still the sun is on that banana shape I like to call it here's that shadow again still behind this see it right up there you got the sun going around something right there the sun is still in that banana shape also being cut off from the top as well to be honest but this object is closer to us than the object on the right as this is in the dark and that one's starting to illuminate as we saw and as you can see the light is still coming down around the side of something there quite obvious really obvious that's what the sun looks like when it's being eclipsed the light comes out from around the side and you can see it I mean it's right there it's not a it's not a I mean it, there's a cloud there but it's what's beyond the cloud that's causing the dark area then you got this starting to light up as the sun keeps coming down around this see the shadow is getting higher up as the sun gets lower and look at that see still doing it look at that perfect round area right there ignore the cloud it's not the cloud we're, we're, we're paying attention to we're paying attention to the shape that the light is coming out from behind all these photos are in order pretty much as you can see it's still happening you can see the, the shape of it now the shadow is getting higher up and bigger as the sun keeps coming down from around the side of that see it stays like that the whole time here's a little bit later I went inside came back out still doing it as I figured it would be see still doing it you can see the edge see it's still edging Now, this being a moon, I'm sure there's something else even bigger behind it. We're not going to real, you know, pay a whole lot of attention to that right this second. We'll see that in later footage. This is uh, from over the top of my garage. Now that it's back in, out into the alley. See how it's starting to illuminate on this side now. This is, this is going to turn into a great big round crescent illumination while this remains shaded. See how this is a, a very obviously closer to us than what's behind? What's behind is really fuzzy and blurry. It's because it's further away. That's why it's illuminating finally. The sun finally got down below it. You still see the shaded area right here. Starting to be able to see what's coming down behind it over there. And as you can see, it's still illuminating into a crescent. See that? This is the other side here. 
See that? And you can see it's still in this area as it's going down. And this area is still staying crescent illuminated. There's that side again that's got that bottom side illumination there. You see how the light goes away from it and around it. All this stays dark. See that? It's because it's the top of something. You see that round shadow on the background here still. See, as this keeps going down as a crescent illumination, it's following the sun down. And it, as this starts to go down, you'll start to see it over here. You see how this shadow line goes all the way up. Shadow line is still there. As you can see, it's a crescent illuminating in the sky still. We got this going down as well. You'll start to see another line up here, here shortly. And I took a little video of it. It got really bright when I turned that on, so I decided that wasn't the best thing to do. And as you can see, it's still crescent illuminating over here. That's actually a whole lot closer to the sun than what's on the left side of it. What's casting this great big shadow. See the light ring up here? That is another halo happening on the on this. But you can see how the lights just cut off right there. Boom. That wouldn't be happening if there was nothing there. And there's the uh, planet setting on the left side there. as would appear to be really obvious. And that's still crescent illuminated. See that, how it's crescent? The light is getting further down on the crescent even. Another shot from over the garage. See how that, see how that's rounded? <laughs> the light's breaking that way. See? back out into the alley, get a better view. Still pressing and illuminating, as it can still be seen, which means there's something mighty big right there. And there's a probably one of the better uh, pictures I got earlier you still see the, the lights breaking around that right there which is this right here and then you got its cast shadow here then you have something else up here casting shadow and you got this area which is illuminating on the bottom half only and all dark on top as you can see See, this is one great big planet right there. We're catching a pinched view of the sun. That's why the light's coming out from around the backside and way over here. Because it's illuminating from behind it. And then you have another great big shadow over there. And here it was a little bit later on in the evening. 
as you can see the that area is still there you have this great big crescent illuminating bottom lower side there see how it's illuminating it wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't round something is round there that's why the bottom lower half is illuminated crescently otherwise it would all be illuminated All right, on to some regular footage. As you'll see, just like in my my backyard, we got the light going around something. See how it's bending around something here? It's not clouds. See how it stays a shadow over here? They're on a much different viewpoint from us, so but the view will be a little different. Again, here comes the sun going down and around something casting shadows everywhere you can see the sunlight's just being dragged around and pinched and you can see how it's kind of being dragged up over the top of something here see that now it's illuminating and here we have a sunrise and you'll notice that the light is already illuminating everything before the sun ever comes up there, there they go spraying right there and as the sun does come up you can see it's coming up around the side of something casting shadow down below that's another sign that there's something there you got this up here cutting off the light all the shadows going over here see how this, this remaining shadow area and now we got this strange light bending around something I mean quite something quite big I mean look at the light it's not even normal otherwise it would be illuminating everything evenly and it's not see how the lights just going crazy right there now right there we're gonna back that up a little bit I gotta I wanna point something out there because this is really good footage that really needs to be seen as the sun is coming down into the frame you have this great big cutoff of blue sky that is cutting off the sun quite literally see how the lights not passing this got something over here as well just like I said earlier you got something that's bigger above you got something smaller down below that the Sun's gonna fall down behind and then you got something over here as well And as you see see how that Sun's moving by that see how the Sun is wrapping around right there that is a sure sign of something cutting off the light cutting off the Sun but because the sun is so bright it's really hard to notice unless you're actually paying attention to s such things and it's breaking up here too you can see the edge as the sun goes down all the darkened areas become much brighter see that I just thought it was really important to show that the light is not acting right <laughs> as you can see as the sun's coming up we got lots of illumination prior to the sunrise and as the sun finally does come up it appears to be going up behind something see how it's bending around and squirreling through here normally it would just be the sun going up but as you can see something is in the way blocking the light here see that there's 
they're spraying like crazy trying to cover it up but I mean you can only do so much and in this one As the sun's coming down, you can see that it's coming down along the side of something here. You can also see that there's a body up here. See that? See how it's all dark? Notice how everything inside the halo is also dark. And we have the, the balls as well on the sides there. There's one. Um, as the footage progresses, you can see how the light is starting to shift around this as well you can see this even more so this darkened area see there's that there it is again just like it was doing in my backyard today and you got the same darkened area behind it with the same cast shadow from this See how the light's going up and around to something right here? Yeah, I mean, it's you just can't miss it. You got this, you got the cast shadow from behind it. See, this is a shadow of what's here. And it's shadow casting further out, getting lighter as it goes. And then you got something up here that's dark as well. See, the light is going around that area. Very important piece of footage there. See how that dark shadow just sits there? And it only moves as the sun, see how it goes underneath it as the sun comes? See, it's below the, that area at first. It's really small, and as the sun goes down, it starts to get bigger and bigger as the sun goes behind that right there, see? shadow on the back side of it with the casting shadow behind it I mean if that don't show you that there's something there then I don't think anybody can ever show you that there's something there that shadow remained look at that I know it's a little bit fast but look at that <laughs> Also, this shows on the right side of the sun, there's something above. Because as the sun gets lower, it gets brighter. It'll actually be the last thing that's illuminated in the sky. See how it's flashing color? See how that, all this is staying lit, even after sunset? And last piece of footage for the day. I wanted to, to, to go over this. I know this was in my last video but I thought it was really important to show that as the sun was coming up here there is a break of light here something that's casting shadow long before the sun ever comes up and that's when you can see these things is when they're in the sky and the sun is below the horizon just starting to come up see how all that see how fast that went up Let's take another quick peek at that because I think it went too fast. See how the light's still breaking around that area over there? All of that light. And you can see how the sun came up from around the back side of something. See you? It's wrapping around something there, the light. As the sun comes up, we got lots of light pushing off over here. See how it's breaking off though? Because it came up from around the side of something there. It's coming up with the sun basically. And 
now you can see how it's still breaking here and it's definitely pushing all the light down in here it's all being scrunched right in here as the sun gets higher notice that the light is still forcing all the way down along the, that edge there They sure do like to spray, don't they? Jeez, look at that. All right, well, that looks like about it. Thanks for watching. Please share if you agree. See how the crescent illumination is? This is what I'm talking about. Y'all have a good day.